Hello and welcome back. This is of course one ado of episode 28 of our Steinwald Let's Play. I have to apologize, it's been a long time and I've put in this precursor in because the vast majority of this footage was filmed before the update that they've done, which looks amazing. Lots of um, graphical changes. You'll see the spells are on the side, uh, quests are on the side here and some different items and classes which we're going to get into. But um, that'll have to wait till episode 29 because episode 28 I tried to do something that took quite a long time and I've had it sitting on my computer ready to go but I just uh, got in my head about uploading it and that's why it's been a while so apologies for that but if you do enjoy it do please like and subscribe it really helps me out and lets me know that the stuff I'm making is something you want to see more of so with that in mind let's get right into things here this just won't do nope not good enough guys it's time to get serious we're gonna need to go full on red power and we're gonna do that by crafting the catalytic cataclysmic headguard we're gonna go get our crafted for where is it uh forsaken ripper i believe it is the one that replies execution there we go out of storage we're going to use it we'll have four squares we're going to train up to get the rest of the liver we need i'd also like to point out i never noticed this guy here he sells every single crafting resource that you need i've been going to each individual uh crafting person now i could have saved so much time Let's go grab our, um, I've already forgotten the name of it, Crafted Execution, and put away our healing, and then we're going to head off to Windsor Hold. I'd also like to point out that I did get the last episode, I got the recipe for Rosato. Unfortunately, I do not have Broken Crown, Gleaming, I can't even say that. You get that from the Geodes, but I need to crack the Geodes open, and the Powder. So we're going to get this, but probably not for a little while. One last thing before we head over, I have actually been saving up my gold and I do now have 100,000 gold I believe. So we are going to add 10 additional slots. Extend. Amazing. So now we can store this and I want to keep things a little bit organized. We're going to go armor, we're going to go weapons, keys and resources and then so that'll be the geode there and then scrolls and stuff can stay over here and this polymorph gravestone. Brilliant. But that's so much more space, so much more flexibility in what I need to do. I'm hoping also to clear out all of these crafting materials at some point, but uh, I really, really needed that. And the next, where is the bank? The next expansion, I believe, is a million, so that won't be for quite a while. Let's try out this uh, crafted execution. I want to gather up as many of these guys as I can without losing any. Hopefully that'll do it, and then we're just going to see what kind of damage this bad boy does. And it almost kills them all. I am now going to die if I don't do something. Oh, that was close. And here we go, we start off our quest for greater gear with some help from Aken Key and Linktom, apologies for pronunciation there. However, unfortunately my recording from the first attempt didn't work and so you missed, the most, missed most of the action there. We ended up getting a Forsaken Ripper, a downgrade from our current crafted one, not in the new update, which I'll talk about later. Uh, run 2, we got Linktom's help here and we managed to get past the elusive wave 30 to be able to get that Royal Bears crate and quickly lose in wave 31 but we do get our first piece of livy which will go towards upgrading all of our armor which ultimately is the aim here runs three and four we get the help of good old friend west villa making a return to the series uh we have no game sounds here so i've just put replacements in hopefully it'll keep you nicely immersed first of all we get up to wave 40 but lose to jono who i really despise however we are rewarded with some livy and a crafted limbo run number four gets more livy after we reach wave 39 it's not quite the heights of wave 40 but we are getting some really good runs so with west villa uh, I also have to highlight this clutch save during run 3 as I die my projectile finishes off the job ending the wave and reviving me instantly which was awesome definitely a highlight so far. Run 5 to 7 yield a total of 4 Livy from just 3 runs which I think is really good including a personal best of reaching wave 35 solo which ranks me up on the high scores which we can have a look at later as well. We now have enough Livy to upgrade our first item and I settled on the Blood Surge Slicer as I use it a lot and the reduction in casting and cooldown timer was just too tempting. So definitely a big upgrade there. With the upgraded Slicer, Run 8, run eight seems to cross my, sees me crush my previous personal best. Gosh, that was a bit hard to get out. And I reach wave 39 solo to get a Livy and Runebound Gauntlets, which would have been great had I not just advanced my, got my other advanced Serative Gauntlets already. So slightly a waste, but... Can't really complain with getting to wave 39. A good string of reaching wave 30 and beyond for the next few runs, except run 10 where I fell short in the boss battle. Saw me get two more Livy, but also a couple of RBCs over the days that I was doing it. And I felt like I was getting a little better handle on dodging these bosses and could co consistently, at least mostly, make it past wave 30. 
onto the RBCs, and of course both are largely useless, only containing lumbering materials, nothing changes there. Unlucky number wave 13 was unlucky in that someone said they wanted to do Winter Hold together, and so I exited early as I wanted to double team the dungeon, but then they decided not to, which was a bit strange, but I did get two more Livy, so maybe not so unlucky after all. Round 14 got me to wave 32 and some runebound shoulders, which will start. I wanted to make a set of healing, which I don't really want to have to use Livy on. So if I get the items, I'm going to hold on to them. So that started my healing set of armor. A 35 wave run uh, brings up number 15, the halfway mark for this 30 wave uh, challenge that I'm doing. There's still plenty of grinding out for this Livy left. I took a bit of a break IRL for the next two runs as it showed I was a bit rusty and fell short of the RBC unlocking wave 30 having cursed myself by thinking I was getting more consistent earlier and I got no Livy from it unfortunately. However once I was warmed up I reached wave 38 and got one Livy as a reward still short of my best of 39 so I don't think I topped that again hopefully we can get 40 and beyond at some point solo. The next three runs were fairly uneventful picking out one more Livy and another set of runebound shoulders which the duplication was slightly annoying. I was trying to have a nice natter in chat during run 22 and paid the ultimate price on just wave 19. But we got a Livy, so I'm not going to complain too, too much. I then struggled against Jono, which I really do hate. I'm losing on wave 30 to him, and then wave 25 to him, and then wave 30 to him. I do get a Livy, but I'm off to stare at Wolf for a while and mull over this humiliating defeat. And that definitely took me a while, uh, as he just constantly wrecked me. After some wall staring and soul searching, I took a quick breather to crack open some more RBCs and get some mana potions. But then we popped two Livy, which is fantastic. This should definitely speed things up on our grind, which talking of which, about time we get back to it. We are in the home stretch now. A few more 30 plus wave runs for numbers 26 and 27 gets me another Livy. Uh, and then finally, it was the chicken of death. And so the server was very busy and very laggy. I might get a video up of that. I know it's quite past the time now, but we shall see. Uh, so I got my first disconnect, which was frustrating, nullifying my work. My recording uh, was then very laggy for wave 29, the penultimate one, um, but so I haven't included it here, but I did get to wave 30, though I didn't get anything good from it. And the recording for my final run, the 30th, is also very laggy. Again, the chicken of death meant that the server was very busy, but I did get the livy I needed to craft my final upgrade that I was going to do on this 30 run challenge. And so I cower in the church, seeking divine protection from the chickens, which are rampaging through Roldenberg. Definitely couldn't go outside. And I craft some catalytic shoulders, which again, as they provide the greatest differential. And that completes our 30 wave, 30 wave, 30 run wins a whole challenge, which was definitely quite the grind. So I hope you enjoyed it. So there we had it, our 30 run challenge of Windsor Hold. We managed to upgrade our shoulders, our chest, our Forsaken Ripper, which I crafted, though the update seems to have nerfed all of these numbers. I used to be able to kill these guys pretty easily. I just tried to take one on and almost died. You'll see all the values are way down. They used to be in the thousand range. Um, but I also got this item today, uh, which is way better than my crafted Forsaken Ripper already and has a 22% chance to reset the cooldown. So I've got a lot of work to do to read up and find out how to get back up to speed. But I do hope you enjoyed the challenge. It was a big grind, a lot of editing as well. So if you enjoyed, please do like and subscribe. Hopefully it won't be so long until my next episode comes out. But until next time, thank you for watching and goodbye.